Okay. So yeah, um, I'm glad to be here and to be after Scott because I really like uh, his work uh, trying to um, to uh, <coughs> to uh, for the uh, nice introduction for D3 because there is a book, but there is also thanks. There is also a series of tutorials on his uh, own blogs. Uh, so I want to start from there. Um, and try to, to give you a list of uh, things you can find on the web to, to, help, you, uh, to, re to help you get started, to help you uh, share your stuff, um, yeah, so uh, to get help. Um, so this is maybe just a bunch of links and I will share this uh, maybe uh, tomorrow on the, all the usual channels. If you don't know the channels, we will learn them right now. So first, there is the D3 website. I'm sure you all know it. It's probably the first landing page you see when you are looking for D3. There is also the paper. I'm from like an academic uh, maybe background, so I like to see where my tools uh, uh, come from. So what you can learn when you read the paper uh, is that it's mainly binding data to graphics. So that's exactly what uh, Scott was uh, uh, telling us. Uh, when you study information visualization, that's what you learn to, you, you have data and what you want is to give shape to your data. So what you want is to try to, to, try to find the right uh, attributes to map to your data. Is it uh, like a, a position, a scale, uh, uh, like a color scales and stuff li like this. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a great book about it. <laughs> so the grammar of graphics from Wilkinson is my information visualization bible. Uh, if you know ggplot2, it's kind of an implementation of the grammar of graphics and you can see D3 as another implementation of this. I think uh, this book is very influential in, in the information visualization uh, circles. So as you learned, uh, the prerequisite, I think it's it's maybe a pretty high. Uh, when you learn D3, you, you need to master these things. Uh, sometimes on the Google Groups, uh, we receive some questions but that are really JavaScript questions and dumb questions. We are always glad to uh, uh, have them because sometimes the boundaries between like what is D3 and what is uh, JavaScript is, is a pretty thin because D3 is just a very thin layer on top of all this. So there is all these great uh, tools um, and not so great also, because if you are into JavaScript, that's not always fun. Uh, the DOM neither. Um, so D3 makes it fun. I tend to see D3 as I saw uh, jQuery um, back in the day. So um, J JavaScript was just a language that you didn't want to use and jQuery make it uh, easier. We will see that it's a totally different thing with, with uh, uh, D3. But one prerequisite that I would uh, add is the visualization. And, and I'm not connected, so, um, but I think I can, yeah. It was already downloaded, I'm so clever. So you can find a lot of different lists about information visualization. I like this one and, um, and by the way, all the things in my presentations are just like the first thing I can think of. So I, so I think it's a pretty uh, opinionated list. But here is like a couple of books that you have to read if you are into information visualization, like uh, uh, Burton and uh, Tufty and uh, Colin Ware, and a couple more. <laughs> so let's go back by going forward. Because I don't know how, oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I think it's important to know what D3 is not. Uh, so D3 is clearly not like jQuery and uh, 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 Raphael. Both are more uh, kind of uh, shim. Or they try to be uh, compliant with the tools that doesn't want to play with the web. Um, that's nearly a thing of the past. So you can see on uh, can I use uh, that's a website that try to reference like where you can use each type of uh, uh, technologies. So, uh, for example, uh, Raphael is trying to 
to, to abstract a graphic layer so it can work as well on SVG and on old stuff. But that's not what D3 is all about. It's not neither a graphic uh, library. Like you don't, you, you don't ask for a pie chart. You can ask for a pie chart layout, and then you have to build it yourself, and that's the beauty of D3. But you have some graphics library, as Scott uh, told us. There is, I think, the one of the most important is NVD3. Uh, that's a one-guy project, and maybe a couple of uh, people around. But maybe I can shift that back. Oh yes. There is also uh, Xchart, uh, uh, DanceJS, uh, and uh, uh, Rickshaw. So they are all very different tools based on D3. So when you just want a pie chart, just grab one of these. Uh, I think it's a good idea to, to do this, because then you can go in the, in the source code, and you can learn D3, because you can learn the, a real implementation of D3. But so D3 for me is a bunch of reusable <laughs> components and uh, 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 helper functions to try just to map from data space to pixel space. So that's, that's the only thing. When you look at D3 uh, 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 source code, if you remove the reusable components and all the uh, uh, helpers, that's maybe like 50 lines of code, like the, the uh, data binding, the uh, data join part is really the core of D3. Oh, hey. <laughs> this animation is made with D3, uh, by the way. That's a uh, stack uh, JS with uh, like a custom by now something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, so by now to <laughs> by now dot JS. Yeah. So then when you want to learn D3, if you are into books, uh, yeah, th there is the Scott Murray. It's on top, not because it's the best. It's, uh, it's, on top <laughs> it's on top because probably you want to, to, to start from this before the De Wars one. Uh, uh, the De Wars is a little more advanced, but, but not so much. Like y you need to start with some uh, JavaScript skills and some uh, CSS skills, but it's a very good book too, uh, from uh, O'Reilly too. If you are more into videos, we also have, haha, <laughs> that's from Ian. So um, a whole series of video tutorials. So that's great, because you can see someone uh, coding from scratch with a live coding uh, editor with background music. <laughs> um, if you are into other things, there is also an others kind of tutorial. So th this one is there is, a, there is a list of tutorials in the wiki. So it can be slides, it can be a, a, a video of a, of a talks. Uh, it can be also uh, blog posts. Uh, I like blog posts because that's more like uh, explaining the whole uh, uh, process. I think, well, of course, um, all Mike Box Talks works. I don't even know why I put it here because it's obvious. Uh, but Jim uh, Vallandingham and, and a lot of people like this are doing a really great job of uh, uh, having a whole blog about uh, uh, how to get started and also how to do advanced stuff with D3. I think there is a lot of tutorials to get started. So this meetup is once again to get started. But um, I think we need more tutorials with a very advanced thing. The, the tough part with this is probably advanced stuff can be like uh, geographic stuff, uh, network stuff, uh, custom stuff. So that's a bit hard to, to focus on, on, on things. But D3 is, is very young, so I think we will come up with more advanced uh, tutorials soon. The best way to learn for me is by looking at the source code, uh, because I'm a geek, but probably a lot of people are, li are like me here, uh, and looking at the uh, API. So D3 is very well uh, documented. If you find something that is not easily understandable, just add it, because it's a wiki. So the wiki is on GitHub. You can all share and participate. There is a gallery that is on the wiki. And uh, tonight, I want to launch a, an alternative gallery that I implemented with, with the help of the community. So that's, 
that's mainly kind of a clone of what's on the wiki, but I, I added a lot of stuff. Um, and also, it's because, like, why just duplicating the wiki? It's because I wanted to, to uh, filter. Like, you just want all the stuff by one uh, author. You just want, uh, uh, for example, I want a pie chart on a wiki. That's not easy, but that's more uh, easy here. So I'm not uh, uh, connected, so I will not click on stuff. But, um, but so right now, there are, there are maybe more than 1,500 uh, entries. So it's just to give an idea of the, of the magnitude, of the popularity of D3. Uh, I don't know of any other graphic library or like, a, like information visualization library when, where you can have a, a gallery with more than 1,000 entries in it. So I will need help because I have to do like the screenshot stuff and the entry of the, uh, of the uh, authors because I think it's very important to give the credits. But yeah, so that's a work in progress that I'm launching today. How is it implemented? It's implemented in D3, of course. <laughs> so the source code is available and it's pretty simple. Um, the gallery is all on a Google spreadsheet. So what I think um, someone had a very good idea is to grab Mechanical Turk for entering stuff in it, like uh, uh, screenshots and uh, uh, filling out uh, values. So I think with um, some crowdsourcing, we can have a very great filterable gallery. Ah. So on this gallery, you can find a lot of examples. You can find the uh, tutorials. You can find the uh, talks. So it's just a matter of uh, filtering by tags, by uh, authors, and things like this. So how to contribute? So you, uh, you made some, some interesting stuff you want to share. Uh, here is a link to, to the, the alternative gallery spreadsheet I just uh, showed you. But to share code, um, the community works a lot with a code snippet uh, manager, mainly on GIST. Blocks is only kind of a, it's another tool by Max Bostock. And when you click on it, but I will not because I'm not connected, uh, you have, a, you have the, the the code that is running in an iframe, and you have uh, the code that you can see also. And this is just a viewer for a GIST. A GIST is just a, a code snippet uh, manager for, for uh, sharing snippets of code, and it's part of GitHub. So I don't know if all this is confusing for you, but uh, you will just have to click everywhere on my slides, and it will all come more obvious. Uh, tributary also is another way to share. So the difference is you have uh, live uh, coding in it. Uh, this is a, a screenshot of it. Uh, I think I have it open too. Another tool by Jan and, and uh, a couple of guys from the community. What I really like about this tool is the way that you can just uh, grab any numbers and uh, have a, sli a, a slider to change things. So when you change so, uh, something, you have live coding. Uh, there is a world trend of live coding right now. So another tool that I like to share code and to work um, is a Plunker. Plunker is a bit like a tri uh, tributary, but uh, m maybe more basic, but with an interesting feature where you can uh, collaborate. So, so like multiple people can, can work on the same code. So you have you have live uh, preview and you have also uh, collaborative work. You can work directly on the D3 source code. You can file bug reports. There is no bug in D3. So when you file bug reports, it's uh, because, uh, no, sometimes there are some bugs. But uh, y you have to look uh, carefully. What I would do is before filing a bug report, I would go on, on the Google groups to see if it's really a bug. Because sometimes it's a version mismatch and stuff uh, like this. 
But so, yeah, you can submit bug reports. Pull request is the way to, to share the modification you made to the, to the D3 core. Uh, so that's all on GitHub. And I like the way that you can also submit plugins. Because I think one of the way that D3 will expand, it will not be on the core. And in fact, the core is, um, is uh, shrinking. Uh, for example, the, the Geo stuff is a plugin now. So here you can see like a chain of faces, a, a bullet graph, a box plots, uh, a horizon charts. Um, yeah, so there, there are some uh, uh, parallel coordinates. So th this is like another uh, layer on top of D3. So y you have D3 as the, as the low level uh, component. Then you have its uh, uh, axis and, and uh, low level components like this. And then you can build your own and share. And someone else can take this to build a dashboard. And then someone else can take this dashboard to build a wall application with uh, backbones and the uh, and uh, back end and, and all this. So I think it's in these multiple layers that D3 can be very powerful. That's my favorite slide. <laughs> I always like this uh, little guy that's so, and a 3D pie chart too. I'm a PhD, I'm a designer. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, how to get uh, help? I think the most obvious place is the Google group. Um, I think when you post something on, on the Google groups, it goes very fast uh, before you have an answer. There is the, the Stack Overflow. I, I'm not too much on it, so, so I don't know. But I see a lot of uh, Mike Bostock on it too. So I think these are two um, really well-known and very efficient uh, channels. So f uh, feel free to flood the Google Groups with uh, questions. That's exactly what it's for. Maybe you don't know, but there is an IRC channel. So when you want to more uh, ch chat with people or just uh, 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 hang out and talk D3, that's also a place to go. And oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, so <coughs> what I do is I'm trying to tweet a lot only uh, about uh, some D3 stuff I, I, uh, I see. Uh, I try to tweet at least like five to 10 new uh, items about D3 each day. So I think the, the community is big. So uh, we, we have like to share as much as we can. So. This community is the best I found, so let's hope we will all contribute. Thanks. <laughs> Questions? Okay. What was yeah. the website where all of these are? Yeah, what I will do is I will post this on the wiki. On the on the wiki on the on the GitHub wiki, so the uh, the official wiki. I will also post this on the Google Groups, and on D3 visualization. <laughs> <laughs> For good measure, on the Meetup page too, right? Oh, on the Meetup page too, of course. <laughs> Great plug. Thanks. Guys. Thanks.